Uh, so here I am, uh, Southern California in the desert, doing some squirrel hunting on a big ranch here. We'll see how it goes. I'm set up to face this way, big rock outcrop, and then I just turn this way. You know the rock outcrop behind me over here. I got to pivot. Got to got to pivot. This, my seat, that camera, and my gun. It's four things I have to pivot before I take a shot if I have to turn this way. But I'll stare this way for a while, so we'll see how it goes. Get some good footage for you here. Shoot my Benjamin Marauder. I'm trying out some, uh, we'll start with JSBs and I'm going to try some uh, heavier Benjamin pellets. Here we go, we got one there. Oh yeah, baby. Got one there. Oh yeah, he's standing up tall. Wiggies here. It's about 55 yards of flame. Oh yes! Oh man, that was a good shot. <laughs> they hit him right, right here. Got him on video. Oh, there's some more coming out here now. Benjamin pellets are bucking the wind really, really well. Uh, I might change to them. My buddy Randy went to the heavy JSBs, the 34 grains. In his hot sign, he loves them. And he's still shooting about a thousand feet per second with those. I, I'm trying to maintain around 900 with the Benjamins. I was shooting about 950 with the JSBs. So far so good with the Benjamin pellets. I might switch to them actually. JSBs are a little too light for uh, 100 yards and stuff. And then the, the heavy, the new JSB heavies, the 34 grain, they're a little too heavy for this gun because it doesn't go as fast as a hot sign. So I might stick with the Benjamins and try to keep them around 900 feet per second. I had it maxed out I think 950-ish with the JSBs. Maybe I can get 920 with the J Benjamins. But Randy was getting uh, like at 100, 120 yards, I think. I can't remember which one was getting. With the 25 grain JSBs, he was doing four mil dots at like, I will say, 100 yards. And with the heavy JSBs, the 34 or 35 grains, his trajectory got flatter and they're heavier pellet. And he was at two mil dots at 100 yards. Huge difference. So that's why I'm thinking switching to these heavier Benjamins. It is a Benjamin gun. Might as well give him a try. See if I can get a flatter trajectory, which is better at long range. So, so far testing, uh, I just shot, had to be 55 yards. I don't even check it out with my range finder here. They're holding the, they're holding better long distance. That was 70 yard shot. That was 70 freaking yards with a 28 grain Benjamin pellet and I aim dead on so that means my trajectory is flatter also. Oh there's another one there. There we go. We got us a customer. Tagged him. Oh 
yes. Right on the side of the head. We have a customer. Boom. Oh, there's another one. That was a Benjamin pellet there. That was a baby. A little screamer. Right in front of his face. Well, that was kind of strange. I thought I might have nicked him or something. There we go, baby. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I got him. Hit him in the arm. I tagged him. Tagged him. Tagged him, tagged him, tagged him. It's about eight for the day, I think. Eight, eight, eight. Eight! All right, so I'm gonna call it a day. I think I got six or eight squirrels. I have to check the video to find out uh, the count. But uh, wind picked up a little bit, and the sun came out a little hotter now, so they're kind of hiding. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna sight in my Benjamin Marauder for the Benjamin pellets now. I had it for the JSB, so I missed a couple of shots because of that probably. But I got two squirrels with the JSB pellets. And uh, either four or five with uh, Benjamin pellets. Went through two clips. So I'm a, I think I'm liking the heavier pellets better. Randy had some good uh, good results with the heavier JSBs in his hot sun. So flattened out his trajectory. So it's better for long range like that. All right. So signing out from Southern California. I'm gonna go sign in my Benjamin Marauder with the Benjamin pellets. Take it easy, folks.